Okay, so you have a domain that's registered through GoDaddy and you're looking to use this with phone sites. I'm gonna help you get that set up. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do though is you're gonna use a third-party tool uh, resource called Cloudflare. And Cloudflare, um, it will be free for you. It's well-regarded. A lot of websites rely upon Cloudflare. So this will actually be to your advantage that you're gonna be moving your DNS records from GoDaddy over to Cloudflare where they'll be managed. So what you're gonna to need to do is create a free account and then you're gonna be adding in your domain. So I'm just gonna add in this one right here, I'm not actually doing anything with it, but I'm gonna add it in over in Cloudflare. So after you've created that uh, free account, uh, you're gonna be brought to a page. It looks just like this. You're gonna select add a site and you're gonna drop in your domain. And then you're going to select the free plan and then select confirm plan. And then the next page is going to bring up uh, DNS records that it's uh, locating. At this point in time, it wasn't able to see that over in GoDaddy, I have a couple records and um, it's okay. It's still going to pull through my A record and my C name record. These last four records though, uh, these are GoDaddy records. They're specific to having my domain registered through GoDaddy. So they won't make any sense for these to be over on um, a Cloudflare. Two of these are actually name server records, which will be changing these name server records in just a minute. Okay, so back over here in Cloudflare though, I'm gonna go ahead and select continue. And then the next screen typically has some text that's displayed here, uh, letting you know that you need to update your name server. Um, it's not showing it here just because I uh, I used to have this domain registered or set up through Cloudflare and that I removed it just for the purpose of this video. But um, the uh, the Internet hasn't caught up yet quite to what uh, change that I had uh, uh, taken for this domain. So I just falsified a, a domain here real quick um, just to show you what this would look like for step two after you've added in. Um, your domain. So again, like you would see some text right here. This is the text you would expect to see. So it's prompting you to change your name servers. So I'll walk you through how to do that. So it says log into your registrar account, which that happens to be GoDaddy. And then it wants you to replace your name servers uh, records with uh, Cloudflare. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and select click to copy. I'm going to go back over here to Domain Manager and uh, make sure you're under DNS Management over here for your domain and then scroll beneath the, the DNS uh, records section and go to Name Servers and then go ahead and select Change. Change this from Default to Custom and you can ignore that. That's just GoDaddy um, prompting you to, to use a template that they have. I'm going to go ahead and put in... Um, that first record that we have from Cloudflare. And I'm gonna go ahead and select the, the next one. So click to copy. And then let's go back over here, paste this in, and then go ahead and select save. All right, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh this real quick. <clears throat> Within a couple of seconds, I would expect to see that those DNS records are no longer showing up over here on uh, GoDaddy might take a couple times to refresh it. It really doesn't matter to actually confirm like I was doing right there. Uh, I can go ahead and close this now just because I don't need um, this page here. But you could uh, you would select done check name servers. I can't actually do that because again, my domain, um, I already had the name servers uh, records set up before and we don't have that option to select that little button. But I just wanted to show you what you would expect to see. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and refresh back over here on GoDaddy real quick. Okay, so on GoDaddy's side, uh, we see that the name server records are the loan records. All my DNS records uh, have been moved over, over to Cloudflare or removed just because, again, four of those records pertain to GoDaddy itself. So I'm going to go back over here to Cloudflare, and I'm going to go ahead and select DNS. And then these are the two records that I mentioned that would be moving over, the A record, and which right now is pointing to GoDaddy's IP address. 
and then um, this C name record for my www subdomain. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click back on overview real quick, and I would expect not to see anything here. I wanna go ahead and click on Cloudflare though, because I wanna see if this is still pinning. It says it's still pinning. This can take maybe up to like 15 minutes, but I'm gonna go ahead and select into my domain here, or my, my site. And um, the next step that I would uh, undertake is um, I want to connect my domain once it's over here in Cloudflare with phone sites, right? So back over here in phone sites, under the config screen for whatever uh, funnel or landing page that you're building out, you need to add in your custom domain. So in this case, my custom domain was uh, custom, or not custom, cmtaxaccounting.com, right? And then after I've added in that custom domain, I've got this little prompt down here telling me to add in an A record for this IP address. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the IP address so it'll copy that. And then you can see the, the phone size page lets you know that that's been copied. Now I'm gonna go back over to Cloudflare. And I'm pretty much done with GoDaddy right now, but let's just leave that open. So here in Cloudflare, the next step is I'm gonna go into DNS and I'm gonna change this IP address. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click right in there and then paste in that IP address that I just got from phone sites which is 159-89-244-198, right? 159-89-244-198. Okay, and then I can click out outside here and it, it, you can see that it retained, it made the change, it, it uh, updated my IP address. So once you click outside, then you can see that there's like no save button or anything like that here on the page. Okay. Let's go ahead and go back to Cloudflare real quick and check to see if, okay, so now that's active. Uh, it's no longer saying pending name server change. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back into my domain. And the next step is for me to, um, should actually probably save over here, right? Get in the good habit of saving uh, whenever you're working on phone sites. Okay, so that's all saved. But the next step, now that my site is active on Cloudflare, uh, I'm gonna set up what's called a page rule. Um, I usually wait to make sure that my domain is marked as active first before I set up that page rule. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go into page rules here. And I'm going to skip this right here. And I'm going to go to create page rule. Now what I'm doing here is I'm setting up uh, a page rule for the www subdomain. And this is actually one of the main reasons why I'm suggesting that you set up um, your DNS records through Cloudflare instead of through GoDaddy. Uh, you don't have to use Cloudflare, but if you want to set up a rule for www um, as a subdomain to make sure that someone doesn't hit a 404 error message, then you'll want to use Cloudflare for this just because of how GoDaddy has their uh, infrastructure set up. So let's take a step back here. What am I even talking about for www and 404 errors, right? So right now, if I go to www.cmtaxaccounting.com, uh, hopefully this is gonna show me a 404 error message. Yes. So this is a 404. I'm sure you've seen it before. This is just where if you're trying to load a particular page or a domain and your browser can't access it. And that's what's occurring here right now. So most people don't realize this, but you actually don't need to enter in www into a URL. Uh, but we've been conditioned into believing that that's needed. So as a result, you'll want to set up a subdomain forwarding record if you're using a different domain registrar, but for uh, through Cloudflare, we're going to set up a page rule to set up a forwarding rule for the www subdomain. And if you're asking, well, what, do you, what do you even mean by a subdomain? What is a subdomain? Um, if we go back to, let's see here. If we go back over here to phone sites, you can see that whenever I created this site, it's just called test check. Uh, I had to set that up when I first set up my site in phone sites, right? I had to pick a subdomain. So this subdomain is a subdomain off of the main phone sites.com domain. Um, if you've ever used Gmail before, to get there, you have to go to mail.google.com. 
Um, I'm going to use Google as an example here because more people probably uh, have used Google and might understand this a little bit more. I'll use this as an example. So Google already existed before they decided to set up uh, Gmail. So they already had the google.com domain. And then when they decided to set up Gmail, instead of going out and buying a brand new domain for Gmail, they decided to create a subdomain off of their domain. So mail is the subdomain off of google.com. Just like back over in phone sites, test check is a subdomain off of phone sites.com. So just so that you understand, the www part in a URL, that is actually a subdomain. And it's actually just not necessary. But we're going to go ahead and set up a page row anyways back over in Cloudflare to handle if someone enters in www and then whatever your domain is. We want to make sure that they don't hit a 404 error message like this, right? So let's go ahead and do that now. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to add in, let's see, it's going to be www. What was my domain? cntaxaccounting.com and a forward slash. And then as you can see up here, if, if using the asterisk character, you can create dynamic patterns. So I'm going to put in an asterisk here just in case, uh, for whatever reason, someone decides to put in cmtaxaccounting.com forward slash uh, like, thank you or something like that because maybe they have already seen my page. Like maybe they, they'd already been there before and they were just typing it out. I want to make sure that if they put in www.cmtaxaccounting.com forward slash and then anything like page one, thank you, home, whatever it is, I want to make sure that they're not going to hit a 404 error message. I want to make sure that they hit my domain of cmtaxaccounting.com. So now the next setting here is um, I'm going to add in a setting. Um, let's see, this is going to be forwarding URL. Select, I'm going to select a permanent redirect here. And then the next step is I'm going to put in HTTPS and then cntaxaccounting.com forward slash. And then this is going to be what? This will be dollar sign one. So basically, you don't really need to know like why I set up the dollar sign one here. But essentially, I'm setting up this this wild card here, this asterisk character, to make sure that uh, anyone that's going for www, uh, subdomain, domain, and then some sort of page out here, they're going to be re redirected back to uh, my my domain here. Okay, let's go ahead and select Save and Deploy. Okay, and so now that I have my page rule set up, there's one other change that I'm going to make really quickly, and that's under my DNS settings. So I'm going to go ahead and click into DNS settings here and see the C name record here. I'm actually going to remove that. That was carried over from GoDaddy. That is uh, just the way that they set it up by default on their side. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this, select OK. And then I'm going to create another A record. And then I'm going to put in www. And then I'm going to put in um, this IP address right here. So this is GoDaddy's IP address. Uh, this needs to be pointing back there. I'm going to go ahead and select Add Record. And now we should be good to go if we go and type in www.cntaxaccounting.com. So once I hit enter, I should expect to see that the uh, URL is actually going to drop the www part, but we'll see my test page that I have created here. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a change over here in this test page, just so that you can see, so you can actually see for your own eyes that it's the same page, right? So I'm going to go ahead and what do I want to do here? Um, Select save, and then go back over here, and then put in www. 
There you go. So that's the page. So just kind of quickly recap, because there's a lot of steps here. Uh, basically, what I did was I created a new Cloudflare account, and I took my domain that's in GoDaddy, and I added uh, added a site from the main page here. And then um, once I had added my site, uh, it prompted me with directions that are displayed right here. Can't see them right now. Um, giving me name servers that I needed to update over here on GoDaddy's site, which you can see. These are the two Cloudflare records. That got rid of my DNS records over here in GoDaddy, migrated two of them over to the DNS section in Cloudflare. One of those I ended up actually deleting out and changing it from a C name record to an A record and pointing it back to GoDaddy. And then I set up a page rule which again, I just put in the page rule here to factor in for the www subdomain. So as you can see here, www point or dot cmtaxaccounting.com forward slash asterisk wildcard is forwarding with a permanent redirect to https cmtaxaccounting.com forward slash dollar sign one. So I got that page record set up, it's turned on and um, last but not least, over in phone sites, I have my subdomain set up over here under the custom domain section under config. Hope this helps, guys.